Okay, so today we are going to talk about data visualization using a word map in Maple. So you might have seen a lot of data visualization using maps. For example, for COVID, here is a Wikipedia page and you see some uh, images like this, which here is uh, number of deaths as a result of COVID per 100,000 inhabitants. And you see that the, each country is colored based on the score that it gets. And you see that the score that U.S. get is higher than, for example, the score that Iran gets. And the situation was worse in Iran comparing to Thailand. I'm not sure if I can trust this data for China, but anyway. So you get some visual um, image that you can quickly look at it and conclude some uh, some conclusions uh, you can do similar thing in uh, maple uh, as an example to go through i'm not going to pick up a covid uh, thing because everyone nowadays pick up covid examples let's pick up something uh, special to ourselves so i'm going to pick up uh, the number of times that my page is visited from people with ip address from different countries and you can see it here uh, for example you see that the number of times that my page is visited by uh, some people with ip address from china is more than the number of times for australia so doesn't mean that I'm more popular in China. Well, considering the large population of China and the smaller population of Australia, I think it's not a fair comparison. And I cannot say I'm more popular in China than in Australia. So I want to scale these numbers with respect to the population of the countries and have a world map picture that uh, looking by the colors i can say in which country i'm more popular than another country okay, so that's an example i want to pick up uh, to not waste your time i already uh, put some data in some list so always remember to have some comments write what you are doing etc anyway so i have three lists i didn't do anything much here the first list has name of the countries that I have visited from them. Uh, and the second list is the number of times I was my page was visited uh, with the same order as I put the names of the countries in the first list. The, the order should be the same. That's, that's important. And then uh, the third list has population of each country in the same order. I could use uh, other data structure such as tables. Tables in Maple are similar to dictionaries in Python or some other type of data. Uh, but I'm going to make it simple, just three lists because I don't know what is the level of um, the people who are watching this video, how much they are familiar with Maple anyway. So first let's make sure that uh, my lists have the same size because I'm not sure if I type of thing. I, I typed them, type them one time and I didn't check much. So to do that, I will ask length of each list. In Maple, we use num elems, which means number of elements. And then you put name of the list that you want to check. For example, countries, 55, that is correct. Num elements. Uh, the second list number of visits. Fifty-five, same length. That's that's a good sign. And then uh, population. Okay, so all of these three lists have the same size. It doesn't mean that I didn't uh, like messed up with the orders, but. At least it means I didn't put something extra or something less. That's, a, that's just a quick test. Anyway, let's hope everything is fine. Uh, my first task is to find the scaled score for each country. Not just the number of visits, but number of visits divided by the population. 
So I need to define a new list. I call it popularity, popularity. Okay. And I use list comprehension to, to do that. I'm not going to copy paste one number from here, then divide by number from here, comma, the second number divided by the second number, comma. I'm not going to do that. It will be time consuming. So I'm using list comprehension. And for that, I use the common sec, which, mean, which is abbreviation of sequence. You will see how to use it. Sequence parenthesis open. I say uh, name of the first, no, the second list, number of visits, number of visits. The ith entry, so it means entry with the index i, first, second, se third, so on, of this list divided by, and then populations, no, populations of countries the same index of that. So if I put first here, then it will be first here, second here, third here. And this i is um, the counter that I want to use, and comma. So this means the list will have this stuff, this division, the result of these divisions, for i varying from 1 to 55. Okay, This is the sequence. And that sequence is not a specific data structure by itself. You need to put the square brackets around it to become a list. Mm -hmm. You can see what it will be. And because Mapper is a computer algebra software, it does symbolic things. It doesn't convert them to numbers in decimal uh, or approximate them. It stores them as rational numbers, fraction of two integers, as exactly as they are. If you want to see them in uh, decimal or flout uh, um, style, then you can use evolve popularity. You see them here, like this. And you see that they are very small number, so uh, that's not very nice for coloring. I will use logarithmic scale uh, to make them some numbers between 1 and 10. Let's say I want to use only 10 colors to color the countries. Okay. So first I need to know what is the smallest number I can see here. The, small, the biggest number, the largest number would be 1. Like all people from that country, the whole population are visiting my uh, my page, then it will be one, the fraction, no? But should you see the smallest one? For that, I use the common mean for minimum. And then uh, uh, popularity, but I don't want to see in the fraction form, so I use this eval popularity. And we will see it's some number in the scale 10 to power minus 9. So... I will consider the smallest one, 10 to power minus 10. That should uh, correspond to 0, and 1 should correspond to 10. So I define a new list. Again, popularity2. So it's a new name. And I use list comprehension. I say 10 plus logarithm of that number in base 10, logarithm of what? Popularity, the first popularity list, the ith index. So if it receives this number, it puts it here, the log in base 10 will be something like minus 9, some a bit more or less, and then plus 10 will come like uh, between 0 and 1. You know? Then uh, that is the number that I want to receive this. And then I say the counter i varies from 1 to um, 55, sorry, the, the length of the list. Okay. That should be. And if I put semicolon, you will see the, mm, the numbers stored in this list, but in exact form, see, with the, with the ln, ln is natural logarithm or logarithm in base Nepper number. 
which I don't like to see it like this. If you like, you can see it in the eval form. You see, these are the numbers between 0 and 10. Okay. And, uh, yep. Yeah. And I want to see, uh, I mean, color with 10 colors, then I don't need these fractions, then I will use floor, which means the largest integer of below that number so this becomes five for example this becomes four or you can use other rounding uh, operations in in maple i will use floor uh, but not right now okay so my data is ready this is the score for each country i have name of the score the country is saved and their score with the same order now i can start uh, making the word map I don't need to make the word map by from the scratch myself. Luckily, Maple uh, has it, and that's a nice thing. So I have to go to the package data sets. From that package, loud the sub package built in, and from that sub package, I call word map without any argument. That will generate the world map mm -hmm. that is uh, already defined in Maple. The developers defined it. And I put a name for it, so I call it M. And if you want to see, let's, let's take a look at it. I can do a semicolon, but okay. You will see something like this. It just, it's nothing special. It's just generate the world map or load it from the memory and put it in the variable M need to see so i just put color now i have to tell maple to color the countries with respect to the scores no first i need to define my colors okay so let's have the colors and uh, only a few colors have name in maple like red green blue yellow you can guess which ones uh, i want to have my colors start from very very light blue sky blue goes to uh, like the sea blue the blue that is used for these uh this output of maple commons no like like this blue no so i'm going to define 10 intermediate colors i use rgb for uh, defining a color in maple with rgb code uh, use color tools package and call the comment called color and then give the rgb code in 0 1 uh, scale red green blue so for example the blue would be this you see if i want cyan or the sky blue would be like this and if i want very very light blue then you have to make it like like this no so i want to start from something like this let's say eight to be multiple of five and then uh, goes to cyan and then from cyan goes to blue so i define let's say uh, color list i use a uh, in this comprehension say start from color tools color so this one i want to decrease from this number to zero mm -hmm. so i say one minus 0 0.2 multiplied by i i from one to five um the rest just one and then i the counter from one to five this will be the first five colors and then the second five colors color tools color this will be zero and then the second one from one goes to um, zero so already gets one here zero one one I start from um, 0 0.2 times i um, 
one minus that, which I start from one, so it doesn't have repetition. Okay. And counter again, one, two, five. Together becomes five and five, ten. And you can see the color. So you see it start from here. If I'm very, very, I have very low popularity, and then if I have high popularity, then it's this color. Great. So I define new variable m2. I say color or coro pet map I hope oh, it's a correct spelling <laughs> then I call the the word map data that I created here M. then I give it the list of country names and then I give uh, the score of each uh, country which is popularity 2 but I want to use floor so I again use miscomprehension floor popularity 2 is in three the counter from one to fifty five okay and then the colors so these are like one to ten numbers for each of these and then he should know these numbers are associated to which colors which for us is this color list that's enough, but let's say I want the size of the output to be of a specific size. Let's say I want to use it as a thumbnail for a um, YouTube channel or YouTube video, or it's a specific size for the HTML page that I'm creating or for the figure that I'm putting into my research paper. So I want be specific let's say I want to be this pixel times this pixel for example I think that's fine okay no error nice then I say show me m2 okay so you see m2 and that's nice you see that I'm not more popular in China than Australia it's the opposite you can see I'm much popular in UK and Denmark and take it into account that the countries and their boundaries in in this built-in data of Maple are defined with their own standards so Greenland is part of Denmark here for example and Falkland Islands which I think should belong to Argentina but they are belonging to UK according to Maple standards anyway and yeah you see that in which countries I'm more popular and in which countries I'm less popular for example in India or Nigeria or Brazil I'm not very popular so I think that's the end of this video you saw an example of data visualization with word map in Maple if you are more interested in more details about how to deal with the word map thing in Maple I can create another video like how to restrict the, um, the view to let's say a rectangle in here and not the whole uh, world map or how to put a point uh, write some word there and things like that yes